When you're working in Photoshop, we have different window panels that are available on the right hand side. There are plenty more panels. Um, I'm showing you pretty much what shows as the default in Photoshop. So under the main menu bar in Photoshop, we have the window menu and we have a bunch of different panels here. So if I want to bring up my brushes, I can bring up my brushes panel and that will show here. I'm just going to add a couple more just so you can see a couple of things. Uh, let's bring up paragraphs. All right, so a couple of things. When a panel is open, you can collapse them. So you have to experiment with different things. These little uh, triangles here, this will expand panels or collapse them. You can also double click a tab to collapse or expand. So if I'm trying to make more room for my layers panel here, this one is taking up a lot of space, so I can just double click and it will collapse the whole group. Same thing here. I can also take tabs and group them however I want. Let's say that I want adjustments grouped up here with color and swatches. I can just take it and push it up and now I have that as its own tab group. And when I collapse and expand, I have different options. So you can customize whatever you want here. Um, each panel also has a drop down menu associated with it. I'm going to undock the layers panel and just focus on the layers panel here. So there's a drop down menu and you can see all of the different things that you can do here. So they there's icons for some of the more commonly um, used items, but again, every single panel has its own little drop down options here. So if you're not familiar with these icons and you want to see it by words, you can just click on the option here. All right, so if you end up with a mess on your screen where you've moved your panels around, you can actually have Photoshop reset. So this icon here is your workspace switcher. Okay, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. I'm going to show you this, this icon here. So when you click on it, it brings up presets. Now notice there's one here called Photio. That's one that I created. So if I go to, let's say I'm in Essentials, which is the one that I'm in because you can see the check mark. I want to reset it. So I'm going to hit reset and it kind of goes back. But let's say that you like the essentials, but well, maybe you don't want the learn panel. You don't even want it. So I can undock it and I can actually close it. Uh, maybe you don't use libraries. Let's do that and close it. And I'm going to collapse these just so I can focus on my um, layers panel. Let's say I want this look every time I use Photoshop. So I'm going to go to my workspace switcher icon and I'm going to go to new workspace and you can create your own. I'm just going to call this one, um, I'll just call it the same. So if I am working on something else, let's say I'm doing some motion graphics in Photoshop, whatever. So uh, you can see the panel that the different panels that show up here are for a different task when you're creating like a GIF animation or something like that. Now let's say that I want to go back to what I normally use. Well, I don't have to remember which panels were used. I can go to my workspace switcher. You can either click this or this. I just click the icon. And now I want to go to sample and click sample. And even if you move things around, okay, you can go over here and reset whichever one you're currently on. So you can see the check mark. Reset and it goes back to whatever you want. There are other ways that you can change your workspace. So you can also find those same options under window, workspace, and then there's your flyout menu with exactly the same thing. So if I want to go back to essentials and go to essentials, if everything is like not where you like it, again, you reset. So let's do a reset. Windows, window menu, workspace, reset essentials, and then it goes back. So you can customize however you want. I've got my own called Photio here, and this is the way that I like to work in Photoshop. I don't normally have my channels showing here, so I'm just going to go to this and I'm going to reset. And you can see it collapsed my channels because that's the way I customized it. So you can customize your own workspace in Photoshop. And again, anytime that there's a panel that I may be using in a video that you don't see, you can find it in the main menu window. And then you'll see, obviously, here if there's a check mark, that's the ones that are currently visible.